hi everyone welcome back i hope you're all doing well so finally here at the plot and it needs a lot of work the weather has been so poor recently just in i mean it's been great for the allotment because it's absolutely chucked it down which has saved me having to come here just to water but it has meant that i haven't really been able to get here for a long enough time to actually do a lot of work on it i did manage to get here at one point during the week just to try and cut down some of the squash bed a little bit because it was getting out of control um and i did but the rest of the plot is just crazy now so big plans for today um i want to clear all the lettuce beds um try and sort some of the tomatoes out because they're going a bit crazy um tomatoes gone wild um and i want to try and redo my climbing structure as well and replant some of those um i want to cut down the grass as well because it is absolutely crazy um and just give it a really good tidy up really i'll kind of show you the state that it's in at the moment so as you can see the grass is just absolutely crazy so i've got my streamer with me all of this is coming out today um, so I'm going to get rid of all of this, um, take some of my um, tomatoes or just thin them off a little bit I think, even if I've just got to sacrifice a couple of tomatoes, I really don't want to but we might just have to do it. So all of this is coming out, all the lettuce I think is now going to go into the kitchen garden at home, I think that would be the best way to do it. I think I'm going to harvest all of my carrots because I think majority of them are basically ready now and I can redo a whole bunch of those um as you can see it's just it's just really messy I mean I've got some really great pumpkins and squashes coming up got one coming up here and I've got a marrow ready to pick over this side as well I also want to take up this um, take the kale out um, and I'm going to plant some fresh one probably still in the same spot because it grew really well here so I think I'm going to do that and I'm just going to direct sow it um, I also want to just cut all of this grass down, get rid of all of this, I think it'll be best. Um, tidy up this bed a little bit because um, the carrots have kind of overtaken and I think they're kind of ready to pull. So what I might do is pull them now and then um, later in the year plant some more carrots for Christmas. And then this is the climbing structure that I'm going to try and redo. So what I'm thinking about doing is bringing it all the way across here. Um, and then building kind of like three posts and having the um, string go right the way across. And then that way, see if I can zoom out a little bit. No, um, it'll give me a bit more room and it'd just be easier to pick, I think, because you can see here like they come out really lovely Let's see if that will zoom your oh, focus sorry they're so lovely and they taste amazing but they're so hard to get i didn't really think it through very well what i might try and do is keep the um french beans that are here um and i might just have to take these out as well but we're gonna see how we go i may just do it up to here for now because i haven't got any compost and my car is currently broken at the moment as well. So I had to get a lift here, which means I can't do a quick B&Q shop, but might just do to here for now. Um, and then at least I can plant some of them in. And I just need to get rid of some of these weeds as well. And I actually think I've got some tulip bulbs under here that need to come out before I plant some peas in, um, but we'll see. But yeah, overall, it just needs a really good tidy. You'll have to excuse this. I actually videoed something for Gemma's allotment this morning. So um, if you haven't checked out Gemma's allotment um, channel, definitely do it because I get really good ideas from her and it's a really good good way as well to, for someone that's quite new to doing allotment, um, she gives some really great tips on, especially with the tomatoes, how to pinch them out, which is what I just recently saw. So um, yeah, and just good to know what kind of like time to do it at as well, what time of year to do things. So definitely check out her channel as well. So I think what I'm gonna do first of all, I think I'm just gonna go around and cut the grass and I think that'll make it a little bit easier. Number one, to see where the edges are. Um, a little bit easier to walk around and it will just kind of spruce it up a little bit, give me a bit more energy to 
get going a little bit of motivation i think you can't be a really good cut grass <laughs> Okay, so rough cut done. However, I think I need to sort out the squashes and this area here before I stream this. And I'm not sure how much is left in the battery. I think I get about 20 minutes, so um, I should still have enough. But I think I need to sort all of this out first and then I can stream this middle bit. I'm wondering if I can try and make some of these climb in um, because this one comes all the way out and I think it has got some marrows on it so I don't want to get rid of it I cut the wrong one off last time so I don't really want to be doing that again so I'm just wondering if I can try and make some of these a climbers I don't really know what I've got to climb with but we'll we'll have a little look <laughs> just a much neater nicer edge so hopefully now i can pull them out a little bit and i can really see where they're all coming from guys look what just landed on my glove how amazing does that look though you might see me suddenly jump but oh it's just gorgeous incredible how amazing is nature I'm just going to let that do its thing and then I'll grab it when it comes up. But what I want to do is just pull all of these out, kind of see where everything's connected and then go from there I think. Off as well. Oh, so many bees, which is great, don't get me wrong, it's great. I think this is going to be a really long process guys so what i'm going to do is i'm going to crack on get it done and then i'll show you the end result okay so already looking a lot better i can kind of see where things are now as well giving everything a little bit more room and i've just taken some of the dead leaves off um i'm going to leave obviously as many flowers as i can for the pollinators um and what i'm going to do is i did spot another marrow actually that needs to come off today so i'll give that to my neighbor but this one here, I think can be a climber. This one here can be a climber as well. Um, and what I think I did wrong was I've planted the courgettes the wrong way round. So they're coming out rather than climbing up. Um, but I'm wondering if I can fix that today. And then I'm wondering about making just like a little teepee kind of style um, structure for this one as well. But yeah, you can already see just a lot better. I wanted to keep most of the leaves still on. But just all the ones that are dying like i might take this one off as well um 
I just thought just get rid of them and then what I'm going to try and do with this one because it is coming off coming out and there are some on the end of them so I'm going to try and do something with this I don't know what yet and I don't know how heavy I can't remember which one this is I need to have a little look but I'm hoping I can manage to get this to climb somehow or if I can get the other ones to climb and then this one can go on the ground a lot easier okay so this one here which i think is the tom fox is or it's the marrow i can't remember i really should make sure that i'm doing this bit better but so this one has got loads of little spindly bits coming off of it so what i'm going to do is i've got the archway and what i think i'm going to do is put the archway in but over the top of this and then hopefully that will be able to kind of get it to go up it will take it off the pathways and it will give everything else a little bit more room to grow and go from there. So I'm gonna try it, we'll see how it goes. If it doesn't work, we can just take it down and it'll be fine. I've got all day, so um, I'm hoping to do this until lunch and then I can get started on the other beds because I really do need to do them today. But um, yeah, let's give it a go. Okay, so there's me thinking I've got a whole day here and the heavens have opened. And the only place I've got to shield today is my shed however it is absolutely ravenous with red ants and i don't have my car because it's broken and i had to get a lift here today oh my god i'm just covered in red ants so we may just have to work through the rain um either get wet or get eaten by ants so we'll see Okay, luckily the rain didn't last too long. It does look like some more is coming in, but we're just gonna crack on. Um, so what I've done is I've just put it over, kind of a couple of them, um, and then I'm gonna try and train as many as I can to kind of go up here. If worse comes to worse, what I might do is put netting over the other side, kind of, make sure I don't step in on, the, on this end and then the ones over the other side can get up. I can still get to the ones from here, if I'm going forward, and I can go round then. And I think that is gonna be the best plan. So, this is the netting. This is the one that I actually put around the fence line. Um, so this went around there, and then I've just kind of connecting the um, pumpkins kind of, or the squashes onto it using this and this is what the netting came wrapped in so that was just the fence bit was just kind of what was left over so let's get going shall we So guys, what do you think? I'm actually so pleased. I mean, it took a lot longer than I thought it would, but I'm actually really pleased with it. So I've got a couple from this one going up this side. This one just here goes up here. The one that I put a bamboo stake in, um, I'm left a gap this side so hopefully that will go up there i'm wondering about bringing this marrow as well up here but i'm not quite sure yet um we'll see how it goes i'm also just having a little think about moving this one as far over as i can and then bringing this one up this way but i just need to have a little think about that and because i've got one more here that hopefully in the long run i've pulled this one over ever so slightly and then hopefully this one will come all the way up here but yeah, I'm so pleased. I mean, it took a lot longer than originally planned, but 
it needed doing and look at all this room now i've got to be able to move around get to the courgettes get to all of these bits here try and get some of the weeds out as well yeah super pleased okay guys so i just had a little bit of lunch uh refueled a bit the sun is absolutely glorious so i've just pulled my sleeves up um it's actually such a quiet day i thought it'd be really busy here today but it's quite quiet i don't know if they whether put everyone off this morning um but i'm not really quite sure but yeah it's lovely and quiet so i just kind of just sat for just 20 minutes and you just enjoyed the sound of nature really not too many trains have gone past either today which is surprising given it's a saturday um but yeah so i'm gonna jump onto the next section now and i think what i'm gonna do first is the kale and kind of move my way around then onto the tomatoes and then onto the lettuce so i'm gonna start here i'm gonna pull this up and um, take the kale out then kind of sort out some of the tomatoes a little bit give them a bit more space and a bit more room um, and then go on to the lettuce patch behind the sunflower which is just doing absolutely lovely so yeah pleased with that it looks like there's got multiple heads on this so i don't actually know what type of sunflower it is i need to have a little look at my app for that but yeah onto this okay so all i did was just quickly pull the kale and I did also pull these beetroot because they're not actually getting any bigger. Um, I've kind of been checking them every time I've come and they're not getting any bigger than this. And they're still pretty big, so I'm gonna pick them and take them with me today. And then with the rest of the empty space, I think I'm gonna plant the rest of the beetroot that I was planning to plant today in here, just so one area is just all the beetroot kind of thing. Um, and I think it'll just keep it a little bit more tidy for me. We need to get rid of this guy. I'll just put him onto the uh, pathway, but I won't kill him or anything. The wind is picking up, so I'm glad I managed to get the um, archway done before that because I did need to use a stepladder. So please don't manage to do that. And um, what I might do is is just prep everything and then leave all the plants in until last, and then go around and just water um, everything. It's not too bad, so I might just need to spritz everything a little bit. Um, but I think I'm going to move on to the tomatoes now um, and then the lettuce and then I'll come back round and I'll plant everything kind of all in one go so I don't have to keep taking my gloves off, putting them back on, getting all the seeds back out, putting them all away. I just think it'll be the easiest way to do it. So as you can see from the tomatoes, I didn't pinch any and they've gone absolutely crazy and I was watching Gemma's allotment um on oh this morning actually and she was showing how to pinch some of them so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go around and just give all of them a little bit of a pinch get rid of all the unnecessary ones um or whether tomatoes are really really small and hopefully it might give a little bit more air to the rest of them okay so that's better do you know what's really bad is that it was so full that I completely forgot I had pepper plants in here. That's really bad. So, um, yeah, I'm glad I've managed to take quite a lot of the, there's more over that side, um, off. And then what I'll do is I'll pick some of the clumps and some of the bigger random ones off today and leave the other ones kind of as they are. I do think I've been bitten by an ant all the way up my leg. It's burning, but it's fine we keep moving um so yeah i'm gonna leave this bit for now um because that's i'm pretty happy with that um and then what i'll do is once i've cleared the carrots as well once i've pulled all of those i'll be able to go back in a bit more room around this side and kind of work it a little bit better that way so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take all of this out and i'm going to use it as succession planting so I'm going to do a couple of rows of like carrots and chard, maybe some beet, um, no, I'm going to put the beetroot over there, and some kale maybe. And then I'm going to, each week, maybe for like three weeks I should have enough space, I can just plant either way. Because at the moment, at the moment I'm, because I planted everything at the same time, it's all coming out at the same time. Um, and I've suddenly got loads of areas that are just free, don't really know what I'm doing. So we're just going to 
go with it. Okay, all cleared. That took a lot more work than I thought it would, but another one bites the dust. So I'm just gonna split this up into three now, I think. Possibly four, I'm not quite sure. So split up to three. What I do wanna do is just try and clear some of this bind weed as well. Try and get rid of some of that. And then I can start on my climbers. Okay guys, so we're running out of time and I don't think there's gonna be enough time to do the um, climbing. So I'm gonna plant a couple of bits. These are the ones I'm gonna plant, uh, the beetroot. I'm also going to do some of this Swiss chard that I picked up from a local um, garden centre. I'm also gonna be, if I can find them, my Amsterdam Fortin. Um, I'm gonna try some purple dragon carrots. I've done some purple haze ones in the past and they've been really, really nice. So I thought we'd do that. And then I'm also thinking about sprinkling some um, Californian poppies as well. So I'm gonna get those. And then I've also got, if I can find it. So I've got black magic kale which is the one I planted last time and it's so nice. So I'm definitely gonna do that. And I'm gonna try and stick in some curly kale as well. So I might just mix it all up in the same one, I think. Um, anything else left in here? No, I think I'm gonna plant some of the um, like peas and things um, and some of my winter veg and I'm gonna do them at home in like a little container, I think, or like in, um, I can't think of what they're called now seedling trays um you know what i mean so i'll do that as well and then all my salad is going to go in at home in the kitchen garden <laughs> We're gonna go carrots, chard, carrots, kale. I think that's what we're gonna do. So let's start. If I don't get eaten by ants. The ground is a lot um like more condensed this side so I'm a little bit worried about the carrots doing it this side but we'll see how they go for now and if it comes to it that it's just not going to work we can relocate and start a new fresh batch okay we may only get two successions out of this fine even leave it two weeks per plant I think. Ooh. reasons I kind of wanted to try a succession planting is because I always worry when it comes to carrots obviously the minute you pull them I'm not very good at sewing thinly I don't, just don't think I've got the knack for it so do the curly kale at home in here like a bamboo cane just to kind of show me where I've gone up to and if I decide to put anything else in there it just gives me a better idea of kind of where everything is
give it a good pat down so there's some good connection and then we'll give it a good water bed I think it's too late in the year I just don't think they're going to survive but they're still growing so I'm not going to pull them until I desperately need the space which at the moment isn't now um, um I have spotted this though and it almost looks like my raspberry canes so I don't really want to pull it but if anyone can tell me if it is love to know but I'm definitely just gonna leave it there for now and see how we go so now on to the fun part where I actually get to harvest so I'm gonna start so they feel quite small I'm gonna start with the other carrots they feel pretty good and they were pretty good when I took them out last time so some of them have a bunch okay maybe not I think they were too I didn't thin them out enough so some of them are like this but I mean that if you cut them up they're still edible so we will not waste these oh good one please with that how do people make this look so easy this one does not want this one definitely looks like a parsnip and it does not want to come I don't know what that color is look mind to give them a wash as well before I go home because I think my partner's fed up of having soil everywhere in the kitchen. I mean, we've got the hose now, so we might be all right. So then these ones are the purple hay. So let's give these a go. These ones should definitely be ready because, yeah. Oh, that's a nice one. I mean, just so good. And this is the way we're finishing a day. What a lovely way to finish off. So yeah, please with that a couple of tomatoes. I might do some bruschetta tonight. So that'll be going uh, nice on that. Some carrots and things I might do with the main course. And then um, I actually saw someone had a marrow jam. So I've got another one at home. So I thought I'd give it a go with at least one of them. Um, and then I've got a couple of French beans as well. But yeah, I think that's it for today, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Um, oh my God, I'm covered in mud. Never a great look, is it? mind uh, yeah thank you so much for watching um we're nearly at a thousand subscribers i literally can't believe it so thank you so much to everyone that subscribed and if you haven't yet i'd be really grateful if you could um but yeah thank you so much for watching and fingers crossed next time we'll be able to get the climbing frame done but take care guys have a good week bye